Hi everyone and welcome back to Is It Reviews. In today's video I'm going to be covering the following points. What the job consisted of, things to look out for when accepting class 1 work, what the controls of the cab do and look like, and finally different features that this particular lorry had and how to operate them. I'll be doing this every single time I vlog and posting it towards the end of the video just to give a better insight into the different trailers and vehicles that are out there. I hope you find this video helpful and let's get into it. Hello everyone and welcome to my HGV vlog episode 4 I believe. Firstly I just want to thank everyone that's kind of emailed and thank you to people that commented on episode 1 and 2 where I got my CPC completed and kind of vlogged about that. So a couple days ago I received an email regarding this job here that I'm doing today asking you know whether I'd be comfortable doing this class 1 job and everything. On that email again all I got was obviously uh, time and place so the address and the time to start and I also kind of like to ask for a phone number just so that I can get the fine details from the employer and also kind of just discuss with them what I'll be doing like was, is it class one work will I be required to use to open up the side skirts what kind of tasking is it what's the exact address maybe I can have a look at it on Google Maps and just get my head around it and to be honest they're dead nice and they just uh, they feel more comfortable as well knowing that you've discussed the job and that you're ready to go and you know everything you need to know all you need to do is tip up and uh, complete the job really. So as you'll see from the footage then, I've got this absolute beast of a uh, of a C plus C and the tasking is simple, pick it up from the depot, hitch up to the trailer, take it to a massive, massive warehouse distribution network for Waitrose, okay, so it's like groceries and stuff. So first things first, get in. I couldn't film it unfortunately, but check the trailer, check the loads tied down properly, get the manifest of where I'm going, how many pallets, all that good stuff. Set the sat nav, which they kindly let me borrow. Put a little thing here so you can see how to do that. So obviously entering where you're going and then just make sure that the dimensions are correct and that's you ready to go once you've hitched up you you know your sat nav's good to go and your taco card is in um sit on drive all of that stuff good to go really so a couple of the problems that i encountered with this one was it was a refrigerated lorry the good thing was it turns out in the end i didn't actually need to operate or anything like that all the food inside or everything like that was canned good so it didn't need to be temperature controlled so it was all good in the end, but that's just one to look out for. That's what I like to call in advance to the company. Just make sure that they're happy with what kind of trailer I'm getting in comparison to the experience that I have at the current date and time. Okay, you don't want to be over committing saying you can do A, B and C and then you get there and you look like an absolute tit and make a bad name for yourself. So do your research, call them ahead if need be. If you know the company name and they don't give you an address from the agency, then call the company, say, look, I'm so-and-so, I'll be your, dri uh, your driver from this agency. Can I speak to someone that knows what I'll be doing tomorrow just so we can get on the same page. They'll be more than happy to do that with you. So yeah, that's some advice I would do. And that's kind of one of the only issues I encountered. The controls are pretty much the exact same. Volvos, Scania's, man, pretty much all lorries nowadays, they, they all follow the same kind of suit. So I'll quickly show you around the controls. Okay, so as you can see here then, we've got the taco at the top. Okay, the lighting might not be good, so I'll turn the lighting on. Okay, get some lights up in here. Okay, you've got storage cupboards in here. All right, you've got some storage there, storage all in the back here. You've got a little top hatch, okay, I'm guessing for maybe in the summer, uh, let some air in here. You've also then got cup holders, you've got your uh, electricity here, you've got auxiliary cords, you've got obviously the, the USB to charge your stuff, and then you've got a few controls here, okay, that you don't really need to concern yourself with too much okay this is just to control the suspension which you've got a remote for anyway most cabs have a remote right next to the driver's seat um just here on the right okay so as you can see you've got a remote here all right for your suspension that's to even it out lower and raise for when you're uh, connecting the trailer and disconnecting the trailer okay you've also got your radio and bluetooth and that you've got your temperature control down here okay um with the temperature control obviously i like to set it quite cold because there's nothing worse than driving feeling warm and tired okay then you've got your left and right signal okay you've got your hazards you've got your um control system this is for obviously if you want to view your trip if you want to view how much um how much mileage you've done it controls all the software okay by pressing escape and selecting a different menu every time unfortunately um, in this de depot whilst they're offloading for you you need to hand the keys in so I've obviously got no control over that and um, you've got your lights here okay 
usually nine times out of ten they're already uh, ready to go switched on uh, but obviously with the dial um, get them to where you want them uh, you've got your mirror heating uh, mirror positioning okay so if you want to move your right mirror okay you press right mirror and move it around okay same as windows up and down locking system there um, you've obviously got your all this good stuff oh look at that pretty face right there um, yeah that's really the camp obviously you've got your bed your heating system for the buttons there the light um, that's kind of the interior of this cab at the minute that's uh, that's this nice lovely Volvo we've got we've got the handbrake here obviously okay so um, up to set it handbrake uh, push and to obviously release the handbrake obviously in a car you want to push down to get rid of the handbrake and pull up to to apply the handbrake so same as that really then you've got your neutral reverse automatic and manual when you select manual you've got the gears here up and down okay um, like I said I'm new to this to to all of this civilian stuff so yeah I'm just really trying to get amongst it okay obviously you've got your your cruise control CC cruise control uh, when you set that and then click up or down it will obviously set the speed to uh, to that um, obviously appropriately as you as you're driving um, if you press the brake it will cancel it off as normal and then to revert back to that speed you just click that revert back to the speed you want boom done let's start with this vehicle was a Volvo I'm not too sure what the make of that trailer is or how to find out the make but it was a refrigerated um, trailer and let's start off with the trailer legs okay so these trailer legs are on a single system okay so you haven't got one of these handles either side um, you've actually just got the, the one on this side okay and they're operated on on a kind of big hydraulic system you can see that's how you stow them away okay using the safety clips or the, or the stowaways and to operate them sometimes when the weights all on 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 the legs okay it becomes very hard to rotate and and get the get the legs up so you've got two gears to this system you've got gear one which if you pull out about 50 percent um, you can activate gear one and it will really really lightly let you uh, rotate the legs bring them up and down gear two you'll be able to do it a lot quicker once the weight is all off it and that's all i'll say about that but those are the legs there they're both operated by the same lever Okay, so next up then we'll take a look at the fuel system. So that's where the fuel is, okay? Just lift up on the tractor unit of, of this Volvo, lift up that metal bit there, and you've got access to the fuel. So this picture here, okay, this is on top of the accelerator and brake pedal. You've got the lever here that allows you to obviously reposition your steering column, okay? So that's where it is there. You just put your foot on it, and you can reposition your steering as and where you want. This is the AdBlue, okay? And this one's actually on the opposite tank. At the opposite side of the fuel tank it's not uh, adjacent to it like some of the other models okay on this volvo it's on the opposite uh, side of the cab that's the uh, ad blue right there okay then to access the controls it's sometimes quite a tight squeeze because of these wind deflectors so just thought i'd show you how to get them folded in and then give you full access to to the connection hoses okay as you've seen in the video okay certain doors are held up by different systems on this trailer, um, it was on a spring system. This handle comes out, twists all the way around, as you've seen, and holds the door in place. Some of the other ones have little dog clips, uh, like little carabiners that you hook on. Um, Self-explanatory, you can't go wrong. Okay, then to find out the model uh, of, the tra of the tractor unit and how much weight it can take and all of that stuff, all right, so the, the placard is located here. And then along the door seal, you also find the, the taco placard and all of those good bits and bobs um, that let you have the dimensions for that tractor unit, okay? Bear in mind, if they've got stuff on top of them and stuff like the wind deflectors, it might change uh, and whatnot. And the trailer that you take will be different. Okay then, so as well as that, here is the side panels that you have for your stowaway stuff, um, for gloves and all this equipment you can see here, ratchet straps, all that good stuff. And to access it, as you've seen inside the cab, just pull the lever um, for this one and, and that will release there. Sometimes it's a button, but for this particular Volvo, it was a lever, so yeah. Okay, so just the last one I want to show you is a picture of the trailer handbrake as well as the suspension lever, okay? As you can see there, um, to lower the trailer suspension, shift it left and to raise it, shift it right. Um, and that's the blue toggle there. as opposed to the trailer being all
but the trailer handbrake at the bottom left, as you can see, push to release and pull to apply. That's everything from me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, but if anything, I just hope that it helps anyone that watched this. So yeah, ta take care.